Hey guys, Mike here from Panther Hollow Sporting Optics. I hope this video finds you well. Well, it's been a week since we've been back from prairie dog hunting. <laughs> I'm just now getting around doing the video. <laughs> Sorry guys, I told some guys I was going to have a video out, but you know, life happens. Anyways, uh, got a 22 Creedmoor sitting here. We took it prairie dog hunting and I took one of my, becoming one of my favorite guns is this 6x47 in a Kroger action. Um, with a Bart line barrel. Both of these are Bart line barrels. Um, this is a true Remington action. It was done by Aries Customs LLC in Jeff City. Uh, David Terry is, is a really nice guy. If you haven't, haven't looked at some other videos and some of the other builds he's done for me, he's done a really good job. We're also using a El Mathios. It performed flawlessly out there prairie dog hunting. I dialed the crap out of this thing. I actually took so many rounds for this, I didn't get to shoot this very much. Um, the 22 Creedmoor is a hammer. I've had it built for a few weeks now and I've absolutely loved it. I've uh, been a little picky on the paint scheme on the stock, but it turned out pretty good. You guys can see that a little bit more there. Um, it turned out really nice. This is just a, a U1 stock. I've had this this uh, this gun in a couple different videos. It's a McMillan U1. One of my favorite competition stocks. I really like the McMillan. I've had Manners. I'll have BA. I've had some BA uh, Masterpiece Arms, BA chassis. I like those chassis, but I really am gravitating towards this McMillan U1. It just really feels good to me. And that's what's important is what feels good to you. It isn't what I like. I may like something totally different than what you like, but that's the point. This guy right here, this is the uh, Athlon. This is a Midas Tac 5-25 in a mill version. Um, it done a really good job. We dialed the crap out of it and never lost zero. It never, it done everything flawlessly. The glass is good enough to get out there and see those prairie dogs at 700 yards. Uh, we did have some 700 yard confirmed kills um, with the 6X, or I'm sorry, the 6x47. I keep wanting to say 6XC, it's not a 6XC. It's a 6x47. And uh, we was running some 100 grain Sierra soft tips. So if you follow me on Facebook, you kind of see the, some of the load development I did with those 100 grainers. And then my son took his 6GT loaded with uh, the Sierra 100 grainer soft tips. The, they're called Game Kings. And we just had a blast. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you along with me on the prairie dog hunt, kind of show you what we did, some of the land we hunted on and where we hunted on. We hunted in Hunter, Kansas. Uh, Let's go prairie dog hunting. Stand by. But if he wants to single feed, then you know we can see the flag right there. Yeah, <coughs> six five here. Here see out here right now. The one load I've got fifty rounds of single feeded in there, but he said not to shoot, came out, he won't come out. He oh. won't inject the salon. There's Chase's set up. We're shooting at prairie dogs. Way up there. I'll try to get some on video. There's Kerry. He's all set up. We'll get some wind reads here, the Kestrel, and see what we can make happen. Stand by. Gray Ghost out here smoking prairie dogs. I know. Tell me when you're ready. 
Four seven four. Ready? Yeah. Count down. Four, three, two. Oh! <laughs> He's not moving anymore. He's not moving anymore. <laughs> okay, I see him. I've got him. Ready? He's on the right edge of the mound. Ready? Oh, ran back in. That was the same spot, man. We hit the same spot. Did you see that? <laughs> you got him, Kerry? Yep. Chase? I'm looking. He's just to the right of those others. Got him? Uh, oh, yeah, I got him. So he win. Three, two. Okay, Chase, we got one standing up. Okay, guys, there's our second setup. There's Chase, the 6GT. There's the Gray Ghost. Six by four seven. Our mobile range unit, and out there in the wildness lays our quarry. Stand by. That would be devastation at four hundred and fifty three yards. There's something laying everywhere. Here's some, here's one. There's some more devastation and long range devastation on prairie dogs. See what I mean? See how fat they are? Those things are fat. All right, guys, we're back. We're back from Kansas. <laughs> we time warped back here. Some YouTube magic. Anyways, guys, I appreciate you watching. Hey, don't forget to like, share, subscribe. And uh, we'll see you in the next video.